y'all doing? This is Cody Flowers with the YMCA. I am the Youth Program Director here at the Y. Uh, we are fortunate enough to have our certified YMCA art teacher, Miss Hanners, uh, who teaches our Young and Art class. Uh, she is on hand and she is at home, actually, uh, getting ready to take some videos for you guys so you guys can see some easy art projects uh, you could do with the supplies that may be laying around your house. Um, so without further ado, we're going to transition this video to her and her humble abode. Hey everyone, Miss Hanners here. Today we're going to be talking about mandalas. And if you have never heard of one, they're are signs of symbols in different cultures and they contain very cool designs, patterns, shapes, um, which you're going to be seeing um, after I complete this. So um, I have a plate laying here in my sketchbook because this is just a regular household item um, that I found. Um, the other day I had shown how to draw a circle, you know, when you lay your, basically your hand on the paper and you let the pencil down, but I thought just to make this go a little faster, I would start by using a paper plate. So this particular piece of paper, it's a little tight, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here just so you can kind of see me going from bigger to smaller. Um, I do kind of like the wave design around the plate. Um, kind of gives a nice little wave around the edges there. So I'm gonna start with the bigger plate and I'm gonna work my way down to some other household items. So I have another paper plate and I'm going to flip that over just to make it a little bit easier. My advice is because a mandala is pretty um, much a radial design. It's very circular. It stems from the middle out or kind of out in and repeats itself. You want to center it as best as you can. So again, I'm just using a pencil, basic pencil here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and trace that, holding that down in place. So these don't have to be equal distance. These circles, you can make them if you want. It's kind of whatever you prefer. Um, next, I have a roll of tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down in the center as well. And go ahead and put that on there. Okay, pretty centered there. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay that back down there and trace the inside too. So you can trace the inside, outside of objects. So I've got a couple sections going here. Um, I have a paint cup that I could have used, just kind of an old old little paint cup. Um, I've kind of got these, you know, if you have leftovers from restaurants or any Tupperware, you can use the bottom of soup cans, you know, be creative here. Um, this one I think is pretty close to that one, so you could do the bottom of that. Or I have this little one, this could be if you have an old top to some medicine or something. Um, you know, if you washed out and cleaned thoroughly, you could use that. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I'm going to kind of draw around there, tracing that. So I think I'm going to stop there because I'm going to put a cool design in the middle. Um, but again, these don't have to be evenly spaced. I think to make it more interesting, if I were you, I'd have at least one, two, three, four, five sections, maybe six or seven if you could fit them, depending on the piece of paper. If you have a larger piece of paper, obviously you could do more circles. You know, there are different things you can trace the bottoms of if they're a circle uh, shape. But um, I'm going to come back in just a minute and I'm going to show you how to start adding um, the designs to this. So thanks for watching the first part of this.